Hey, welcome to unboxing day. I never know how I feel about these videos, but I'm gonna give it a try. So this was the uh, like Black Friday sale, and I finally I finally got some stuff from a California-based comic shop. And I'm really uh, it's kind of cold outside, so I'm gonna let these rest. But this was box one. Picked up the uh, Trek Classic UK comics. Pretty excited about looking through these. Um, That'll be fun to geek out to. So you can see both Trek and comics, and Trek comics putting together. This is brand new. This is a Mirror Universe collection. Not too much glare today here. This is a, this is kind of nifty. Look forward to that. Been putting off reading that for a while. A little X book. Don't even know when this took place, but I figure, you know, can't hurt to uh, to give it a try. Wonder, what am I, I almost said Wonder Woman, Batwoman Omni, gonna let that dry out before I crack it, I did crack the Justice League Dark a bit, that'll be a, that'll be a lot of fun, this thing is huge, I have to find a table to read that from, so as I'm going, so that's, that's the, that's the first box, and those UK comics are gonna be a lot of fun, so what else did I pick up here as I, Take the plastic off and lift it up and put it back. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. Doing this one-handed. So you are there with me as the action takes place. Having a lot of respect for folks that try to do this now. So we have uh, Inhumans, X-Men in the plastic. Now these are all on special. That's the way. So the nice thing when things are on special... They give you to ex an excuse to buy something you might not have ever heard of. And okay, more plastic on that. This is Bombshells Volume 2, I hope. That's what I was looking to get. And there it is. So I got Volume 1, and now I'm ready to go. I think I finally cracked that open up here. I love... I, I wish DC would come out with a version of this, but I don't know what they'd call it. And since... Marvel and DC just rip stuff off from each other anyway. They don't have to call it epic. Sorry, I'm going to try to... Yeah, maybe this this will help with the light. Uh, but these epic... No, this isn't an epic. This is just a standalone. Okay, cool. Never mind. I was about to get into this whole why I like the epic stuff, but I never read the Bendis run of Avengers. So this gave me an excuse. This is epic size. So... Uh, this is all the excuse I needed to go and explore that. So here we go. And uh, because I can't really read this right now. Oh, I can read it a little bit better now. That doesn't give me exactly what this run is. Uh, but I remember when the Bendis run came out. Um, I think I might have read the first couple issues. But now I have it all for me. And, you know, this has been out... For a while too so i look forward to just uh, the avengers versus x-men i have to figure out what order i want to read the stuff in infinity war aftermath how old is this it's the starlin stuff and i know i'm pretty sure i got this for a song because um at the time i'm making this i think on on the to buy list or it's coming it's a infinity uh infinity war Omni's coming out. So this covers just the post gauntlet stuff, I imagine. Got some Warlock in it. So I missed out on a lot of those cosmic books back in the day. Yeah, Quasar, Surfer Warlock, Marvel Holiday, too. So yeah, this will go wet great with my uh, Surfer epics that I have. What else we have in the, in the magic bag? Hey, Sam and Mystery Theater. I can't... I, I wish there were... Uh, we had some... Remember how to talk, Dave. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the day where we have our Sandman Mystery Theater Omnis, but until that time, uh, these old classic trades will do, so I'm looking forward to getting into those. Uh, the Matt Wagner run, good stuff. Good stuff here. Uh, not traditional. And I'm such a sucker, right? I think my wife will like this one more than... I will, but got the Scarlet Witch collection just in time. So I got that for, I got a good deal there too. I think that's going to somebody else right now. And uh, did I get age appropriate things in the bag? Sometimes I'm wondering what I got. 
Uh, Supergirl. I never read the uh, the fifty two Supergirl stuff. This has a Helen Slater intro. Cool. So again, this was all this was all pretty much uh, on the sale. And then I picked up Age of X. Don't know anything about Age of X. It's a milestone book, but it was a special deal. So okay, so I thought I had some epics in the collection and in, in in my little collection here. But I do not. I'll take the plastic off of this as soon as I put this phone down. Uh, that's my little haul. Uh, thanks. Thanks for, for uh, Black Friday sales. Worth the wait. Took a couple months to get here with everything. Really looking to open up, uh, get into this, get into the Trek UK. So these are going to be my favorites. I've got a ton of Omnis on my list. I mean, I got a ton of Omnis that I own that I got to get to, but <laughs> this brick, that'll be worth it. And I always wanted to engage this, this Batwoman run. So all together, not a bad little haul for the day. Uh, some classic stuff here. That's all I have to say. Uh, I, I, I hope you're as successful when you get a, a box of stuff. But I guess that's, that's a little geek out for the day. And uh, hey, to be continued, huh? Okie doke.